look, in other young boy news and in other Lil Dirk news, there has been a, a little back and forth between young boy and Dirk. Now, it had been floating around the uh, essentially like off the back of uh, comments that I believe was it Gilly or Wallow uh, had made, uh, suggesting that he wanted to get young boy and Dirk together on a concert to headline his show. Now, I saw this going viral. And I was thinking, what a dumb thing to say. That ain't never going to happen, because these guys are literally at war. They are quite literally at war. And you want to get them together for your show. Okay. Long shot. As headliners at the Gilly Fest, it would be NBA Youngboy and Lil Dirk. If both of them could hit the stage in the same night, it could show the youngest yep. that... That's major. That shit ain't that serious, man. The beef ain't that serious. None of this drama ain't that serious. Nothing we got going on that serious. But it is. This is the thing I don't get. We can show the youngins, man. It ain't that serious. It ain't that serious. It is. That's it. But it is. It is. And we're about to see why it is. Uh, we're about to see why it is. Trust me. Hold tight. Hold tight. Because I got some. I got some hot info off the presses here. And it's all about giving the fans what they want and making money. That's what it's about. So that's what it will be about for me. If I have. So, that was said, and then this was said. A young boy popped out, and look, I could tell from the start that this was some cap. But a lot of people bought it. A lot of people were on board for the ride, and uh, you know what I'm saying. Young boy came out. He said he talks to Dirk every few nights. Now, I think this could be true. I think the statement that young boy talks to Dirk every few nights could very well be true. But I, d I don't think it's a nice kind of conversation. Uh -huh. LG, man, I talk to Dirk like every two, three nights, man. He, he be trying to talk to me about my music, and he, he focused on a billion dollars right now. Hey, you let him, hey, get, him, get him to let me out of this house. I, I hit that stage for you. How you want me to come? Every chain on or just one chain? So YB said, ain't that serious? He talks to Dirk every three, four days. He's ready to hit the stage with all of his chains. Now, this was, uh, this was followed by a post from Dirk. I really hate that this is here. Do that going away. Um, Lil Dirk came out with a post. He said, you lied about sending the address seven times when I asked. I'm finna grab my coat one more time. Send the address. Now, this is a very stupid thing to say. Uh, because if you don't know... Young Boy's address... Is public, okay? This is a song from his recent tape, Decided To, all right? His address public. And look, I'm sure I could find Young Boy's address very easily, all right? But look, this is a known thing. His address public. So Dirk, Dirk, yo, all right? You lied about sending the address seven times. I'm going to grab my coat, send the address. It's Cap. The tone of this message, I'll be, I'll be real with you. The tone of this message, kind of, kind of funky and a little bit off, if I'm honest with you. Something ain't right with this post. Something ain't right. So, Youngboy just responded to this, all right? So, they're doing a whole fake squashing the beef thing, but Youngboy, on the one hand, is sort of fake, <coughs> fake not really squashing the beef. See, he's saying, yeah, we talk all the time, you know what I'm saying? Just let me know. Should I hit the stage? I'm going to hit the stage with you. But you can tell there's a little bit of mischief in his voice. Then Smirk comes out with this one saying, you lied about sending the address. I'm going to pull up. Send me the address. Send me the Addy. I'm going to get you. You know what I'm saying? We sliding. If you ain't going to if you ain't gonna do it, grab a gun. Grab, you know, front the money for a stolen car. We had him screaming, no. Of all the things that Dirk has said about Quando, about Young Boy, about the whole situation with Von losing his life. You can, Dirk ain't forgotten about what happened to Von. That was his brother. That was his evil twin. Dirk ain't forgotten. And the tone of this message says to me, Dirk is keeping that shit gangster. And then this one comes out. Alright, then this drops. My PO got to prove you it don't work like that. You gonna send my head to jail. So YB comes out, tagging little Dirk. He says, I laughing face, I love the fuck out. Uh, I love the fuck out of you. Help me, bitch. Lil Dirk. And he says, it don't work like that. You can't just come to my house. My PO's got to approve you. You know, you're going to get me in trouble. You're going to get me locked up. But he's basically saying, you really want to go to war about it. But you're going to get me locked up. But you got to read between the lines of what's really being said here. A lot of people are saying they're low-key flirting. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like young boy trying to riz up Lil Dirk. 
But I'm going to keep it real with you. I, I, I've got a big reveal. I've got a big reveal. There may be another reason why Youngboy and Dirk might want to play nice. And it all has something to do with the impending Rico case. That everybody has been saying is going to drop on L Lil Dirk's lap any day. Now, uh, this this is crazy. Okay, so... This uh, th this has been going around today. Shout out to my researcher Miko who sent me this today. Um, so this clip has been going around. Does this mean Dirk is next in line for the Rico? Now I believe this is on Chloe Oliveira's channel. Um, was this? I'm not sure if this is the original source for this. Um, I know there was another channel. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Uh, so it was on the Loyalty and Betrayal channel um, originally. There's an hour and a half like breakdown of the situation here. But uh, there's a little six minute piece here. A lot of people are saying that the Dirk Rico is just around the corner and he needs to play nice for Young Boy if he wants the feds to be on his side. So let's, ha let's take a quick look at this video. It's going to be the last thing I'm going to cover tonight. And uh, let's just hear a little bit more about this potential Dirk Rico. And it's, as far as I know, not about the situation with Young Boy and Quando and Lil Pab and all of that stuff. It's actually to do with the murder of Lil Dirk's brother D Thang and a potential murder for hire situation for the supposed get back at a gas station for D Thang, which Dirk has rapped about numerous times. All right. So for all you viewers, you see it in black and white. Murder for hire be committed. Go check out my live I just did. Talking about whether or not Dirk's going to be in, indicted on a RICO Act for murder for hire homicide 2 is what these guys are being charged with. And these guys are being accused of killing the victim that the street is saying is responsible for D Thang's death. Now, I got all the paperwork. I got the. Now, look, I don't know right now, these are just allegations. But if it's a murder for hire plot, who done the hiring? Are the murderers going to flip? Was this get back for D Thang? It's sounding crazy. Now, I'm not saying it's definitely going to happen, but this would be the perfect reason for Dirk to be playing nice with all of his main ops on the internet. Indictment. Got all the warrants, everything. Went over all the documents on my live. You guys want to get the swoop on the whole nine yards of it? Come on and check out my live that I dropped on my channel here on YouTube. It's got all the details, photographs from the footage, the whole nine yards. Warrants from the Facebook accounts, what they found on the Facebook accounts, everything. So for all of y'all that's been curious, been asking, is Dirk going to get brought up on any charges? Why did Dirk get cleared out in Atlanta so easily? I think we just found some of the answers to all those questions. Come check this out. It's right here in black and white. That's what's being said, man. So look, there's a whole video about it. There's a whole breakdown. I haven't had a chance to look into it yet, but this is essentially a case uh, that's recently touched down. Um, you know, I'm going to be looking into this a little bit more closely. Okay. There's a lot of details. There's a lot to it. But, uh, this could be the reason. This could be why, uh, this could be why Dirk and Youngboy are trying to say nice or play nice. Uh, it's a crazy theory, crazy situation. It is, it is pretty serious. You know what I'm saying? Look, I, 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 at the moment, these are just allegations. Young, uh, Youngboy and Dirk. You know, young boys fighting a case uh, for guns from a situation that arose in Baton Rouge a little while ago. And a lot of people have been saying for the longest time that Dirk Rico is going to drop any day. I, I hope, you know, I hope that Dirk hasn't done anything wrong. I don't want to say that I hope Dirk's innocent or I hope Dirk doesn't go away. I hope Dirk hasn't truly done anything wrong. You know, I, I, I'm somebody that lives by their morals. I think people should stick to their principles. And I, I really hope that that's not the case. I really hope that it's all music and entertainment, like a lot of people have been saying recently. A lot of people have been saying it's entertainment, and it ain't really like that. But um, we shall see. It should be interesting. But the little back and forth between Dirk and Youngboy seems like absolute cap to me, if I'm completely honest with you. So let's wait and see. 
Should make for some interesting uh, interesting updates. But that's me. I'm going to hop off. It's very late here. It's about to be 2 in the morning. I'm exhausted. But appreciate everybody for hopping in. It's been a very nice uh, little catch-up. A couple of new stories. But I'm going to be on it with a little bit more energy in the coming days. Um, but I'm really enjoying myself. It's been lit. And uh, I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Peace.